I want the peace of God. I want the peace of God. To mean these words means the end of sorrow, heaven would be completely given back to full awareness and the memory of God entirely restored. If you meant these words, you would be completely healed. You would no longer believe the hell of this world was real. You would see the real world. To mean these words, acknowledges illusions are in vain, requesting the eternal in the place of shifting dreams, which seem to change in what they offer, but are one in nothingness. I want the peace of God. Today, devote your practice periods to carefully searching your mind to find the dreams you cherish still. What do you ask for in your heart? Forget the words you use in making your requests. Consider but what you believe will comfort you and bring you happiness. But be you not dismayed by lingering illusions, for their form is not what matters now. Let not some dreams be more acceptable, reserving shame and secrecy for others. They are one, and being one, one question should be asked of all of them. Is this what I would have in place of heaven and the peace of God? To mean these words is you would no longer see yourself as a dream figure in a dream, but rather as the dreamer of a world of dreams. I want the peace of God. Is this what I would have in place of heaven and the peace of God? You want the peace of God, and it is given you. For that is all you want. And that is all you will receive. I want the peace of God.
Would you agree now? Join with me in asking, expressing the desire as this, as the only thing you want. Two minds with one intent become so strong that what they will becomes the will of God. For minds can only join in truth. Join me in the desire for the peace of God. I want the peace of God above all else. I would not compromise again and think that my happiness can be found somewhere else other than in the peace of God, becoming the loser or the gainer, compromising with some aspect of myself, thinking that by joining another body is union when really nothing is happening. I would not bargain anymore with my brothers or my God and instead receive what was always mine, the peace of God. I want the peace of God. To mean you want the peace of God is to renounce all dreams and relinquish all seeking of more illusions, having and then realizing again there's something else I want, my peace is moved to another place, my happiness moved somewhere else, the goal is extended to something else, when really Everything you want is within the peace of God within you now. You would recognize that another dream would offer nothing more than all the others. I want the peace of God. All dreams will in the end lead to despair and misery. 
in their differing forms, they are all really symbols of death, of something that doesn't last, something that will always pass away sooner or later, it will leave, it will end. This is not the truth of anything that is real. You want the peace of God because it gives you everything. The mind which means that all it wants is peace must join with other minds, for that is how peace is attained. Join with me now. I want the peace of God. Join with everyone that's listening to this audio. I want the peace of God. Join with everyone in the world. Join with the one mind. I want the peace of God. Ask now in sincerity, the only thing you truly want is the peace of God, not a substitute, not another relationship, not another job, another house, joining a community, a holy intimate relationship some hanky-panky. You want the peace of God above all else. Is this what I would have in place of heaven and the peace of God? I want the peace of God. heaven or hell, the peace of God or anxiety, fear, loss, lack, this is the choice you make, be not deceived that it is otherwise, no compromise is possible in this, you choose God's peace or you have asked for dreams and dreams will come as you requested them, yet will God's peace come just as certainly and to remain with you forever. It will not be gone with every twisting and turning of the road, to reappear unrecognized in forms which shift and change with every step you take. You want the peace of God, and so do all who seem to seek for dreams, for them as well as for yourself. You ask but this when you make this request with deep sincerity. For thus you reach to what you really want and join your own intent with what you seek above all things, perhaps unknown to them, but sure to you. You have been weak at times, uncertain in your purpose and unsure of what you wanted, where to look for it and where to turn for help in the attempt. Help has been given you and would you not avail yourself of it by sharing it? I want the peace of God within you now, freely given, share it with the world. 
I want the peace of God. No one who truly seeks the peace of God can fail to find it, merely asks that he deceive himself no longer by denying to himself what is God's will, who can remain unsatisfied, who asks for what he has already. Peace of God is given you, it is yours. You are created with it, it is your birthright. It is his eternal gift to you that can never be lost, ignored maybe. How can you fail when you ask for what he wills for you? And how could your request be limited to you alone? No gift of God can be unshared, and as you share it, no one can lose and everyone must gain whenever a gift of God has been requested and received by anyone, God gives but to unite. To take away is meaningless to him. Bear one will with all your brothers, whose intent is yours. And it is this one intent we seek today, uniting our desires with the need of every heart, the call of every mind, the hope that lies behind every despair, the love attack would hide, the brotherhood that hate has sought to sever, but which still remains as God created it, like this beside us. Can we fail today as we request the peace of God be given us? I want the peace of God.